Ohio State, you kind of, I, to be frank, I mean, they've whipped up on you guys pretty pretty good the last couple of years. Do you feel like you are entering this matchup with a better mindset, I guess? Um, I think really we're going to enter it as we have it every game this year. I mean, you can't really change the way you play because of the name of the team you're going to play. You have to be ready to attack and be ready to fight for every down, every snap, no matter who you play. So, I mean, I think we're just we're ready for a fight and we're ready to just keep this thing rolling and uh, prove who we are. I know, I know you guys say, like, you take everything the same, but subconsciously, isn't there a difference between playing Bethune-Cookman and playing Ohio State and just the preparing week to week for that? Uh, not really, no. I mean, one of our things is just nameless, faceless opponents. I mean, if you're going to decide to slack against a team that you think is not as good as another team, then um, when you try and play those really good teams, you're going to overhype them and decide, like, Oh man, I can't do this because they're too good. No, they're they're another team. You're on this field with them, and you have every right to be uh, just as good and just as uh, good of a football player as them. How do you think playing at Michigan has kind of helped you guys prepare to now play at their stadium? Uh, I think it was a nice kind of uh, getting used to a loud environment, kind of getting used to being on an away field, and that's and um, I think it's going to be. Uh, it was just a nice kind of like baseline for uh, just playing in a loud stadium, which, which is going to be nice. Did you kind of assess your play? Um, you played a little bit last year. I mean, how do you feel like you've done this year in a more defined role at right time? Uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot better, especially with uh, just kind of like understanding how to play football, um, just noticing little things like if they're going to run a stunt or a game and just kind of the just really overall just getting used to playing football again and being healthy. Um, I just feel like I've grown from last year to this year uh, tremendously. Has there been any switch for you when, the, when Tanner moved in the center and Bo was there at right guard? Is, that, is there any real switch when that happens? Um, no, not really. Because we, uh, we played, I played with Bo um, when we were on scout team together. So he was the guard and I was tackle. So we already had a baseline there. And then, um, just in practice, we kind of fiddled with it as just kind of a just-in-case opportunity. So, I mean, we were kind of used to it. But obviously, the first game is always a little different. But now that we got games under our belt, it's pretty normal, and it's just kind of playing next to my brother. Yeah. You guys have really picked it up running the ball lately. I mean, what did, what do you feel like maybe changed from the first few weeks to the last few weeks? Uh, I think the biggest change is just we have a better understanding of the schemes, of the blocking techniques, and uh, We've just gotten better as a unit, as an O line. Uh, we're we're better with our footwork. We're better with our hands. We're able to move guys off the ball. And I mean, our running backs are great players. I mean, they make they make our job a little bit easy because they say we do have a little bit of mess up. They'll make that guy miss and still get about six yards. So I mean, it's really a tip of the hat to them as well because they're doing their job fantastic. How have you been impressed with Martinez and Zigbo and Washington over the past couple games? They're awesome. I mean. They always come ready to work. They're always trying to improve themselves. And I mean, they kind of, every time I've seen them, they kind of go out there with a chip on the shoulder. I mean, like they're just, they're ready to attack it. They're ready to fight. I've never really seen them down. I've never really seen them try and quit. They're just, they're ready to work and they always want more. Well, when you're not too far into the, the scout yet, maybe, but what do you take from <coughs> Ohio State's defensive line, even without Bosa here the last few weeks? Um, they're obviously pretty good. They're obviously a really athletic group. and. Uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be just a it's going to be a battle. And those those are the games that you love is when it's a fight for every down, every inch. I mean, it's exactly what you'd want. What's what's different? I mean, you, you faced Gary and Winovich with Michigan. When you're facing a, a guy like that, what's the biggest difference in trying to handle a guy that's one of the best defensive linemen in the country? Um, I'd say probably just knowing how they move. Like, what is their go-to moves? What is their counter? And just kind of being ready for and uh, ready for what they're going to do, and being ready for uh, some type of counter, and just kind of getting to know your opponent. So that kind of is a big role in playing. I mean, if you go out there kind of not knowing what they're going to do, it's going to be really rough. But once you get a baseline, you kind of get a feel for how they play. Um, it kind of gets a little easier. But obviously, they're great players, so you have to be ready for really anything.